drive to highlighted route. I just made it to the truck. You see my floor? You see how my bunk heater is right here behind my left foot. I don't leave, I didn't leave anything in the way of the bunk heater. This is why. Whenever I go to the house, I'm trying to focus the camera. There we go. It's set on 70, 69 in the truck. Uh, I let that bunk hit a run. I let it run when I go to the house. I come back. Whenever I go home, I go, I go back to the house. About, uh, I come back to the truck. Say about seven or eight o'clock at night, I cut the bunk heater on. So when I get here in the morning, Hey, this motherfucker good and toasty. I ain't freezing my ass off. Cause this floor, if it's cold in here, this floor, it, it will hold some damn, some, some temperature to it. It'll be cold. You can hardly walk in here, it'll be so cold. It's uh 33 degrees outside right now too. We're gonna make a little pit stop at the Davis Travel Center on 95. Let me tell y'all something, man. Especially for my rookie, my rookie drivers, the super rookies. Y'all remember when I used to be the super rookie? Hey, rookie drivers. Y'all see, I just parked on a fuel island and went inside to get me some coffee. Let me tell y'all, man. I always gotta add some cold water to my coffee so it ain't too hot. That's another. That's another trick. Something they don't teach you in trucking school. It's okay to park on the fuel island, man. Ain't nobody in front of me, nobody up here, nobody behind me. It's okay. As long as you know you're going in, come right back out. Now, if the truck stop was jam packed, you know, I wouldn't advise you to do it. All right, come on, lead. Come on. Good to the last drop. Loves. Road. We made it, gang. We made it. 8:35 a.m. My appointment's at 9 o'clock. I could have been here a little early if I didn't stop take that coffee break. See that road straight right there? I came down that road before too. Hey, that, that's a tight road too. That motherfucker is tight. It's easier to take the 95 route. Hey, right here on my right, we got another company called Ally Crawford. One quarter mile. I've been there before too. Ally Crawford. Petersburg, Virginia. You see a bunch of ducks out there about a little river. On the left. Well, we're going to Infra Meadows. Hey, if you ever come to Infra Meadows, 
make sure you make the left turn up here because your GPS will take you straight to the woods. If you look down there, see that, that drive-in trailer down there? The GPS will take you straight to the woods. Arriving at 1900 Bessemer Road, Petersburg, Virginia. I've did. I've done dropper hooks at this place. Dropper hook deliveries. Like in the middle of the night. Like 9, 10 o'clock at night. And I've had guys that, that be out there on that street because at nighttime you can't see nothing. I've had I've, I've had guys that went straight to the end and then when I'm leaving out, they stop me like, hey, where do you go? They don't know you got to turn in here. And this is where you come at. Yeah, I've done drop and hook deliveries here and I've done drop and hook uh, pickups. You see these preloaded trailers sitting out here? I like, I like the drop and hook deliveries. All you do, you get here, you take the tarps, you gotta take the tarps off. Take your tarps off, drop the trailer, hook up. Here we go, here we go. JLE Industries truck right there beside me. We made it. We made it. Hey, right, which one of y'all left a belt in the Porter John? Guess what this piece of Piece of raggedy tarp is going straight to the dumpster. Ready to rock and roll. Rock and roll, baby. Pick up my new truck. It's a day cab. Nah, I'm just joking. We got what? One, two, three, four, five. I got five more up there. This is my truck. This is my trailer that I just dropped. Hey, check this out. It's cold as hell out here. So check this out. I gotta drop my trailer. Then I gotta come back Sunday to pick my load up. I gotta pick it up in Smithfield, Virginia. It ain't far from here. Check this out. Y'all remember one time before I showed y'all this truck. Let me see if the door is unlocked. 
Oh yeah. Old Grayson Mitchell truck. This is a classic. Classic KW. I showed y'all one time before on a video. I don't know how long ago it's been. Emporia, Salem, Ohio, Dillon, South Carolina. I've talked to Grayson Mitchell drivers. They always tell me some real cool stories. No headache rack. I guess they didn't need headache racks back then. Let's hop in. Old school trucking right here. I wonder how many gears this thing is. Man. Radio up top. Got a fan right there. All these different gauges. Mirror heat. Spare. Bright lights, lights, park lights, fog lights. Man, look at that old AC. I remember riding with my granddaddy back in the day. And he had AC and heat like this. Throttle. I remember that. Dome light. I don't think it works. Old school trucking right here. Look how small that sleeper is. If you look closely right there, you see a wasp nest. Yeah, I gotta be careful in the summertime. Small sleeper thing. How y'all like this truck? Triangles. Oh, the fan plugs up to a cigarette lighter. This bucket. In my truck, I got a basket over there. That's crazy, man. Oh yeah, trash. That's crazy. They got a bucket, but in my truck, I got a basket. I keep dirty clothes in it. Okay. And I also throw my coffee cup over there when I get finished drinking my coffee. So, so nobody ever told me to put a basket on my passenger seat. I just, I just started, I just learned it along the way. I used to have a little small, a small tub over there. I used to throw my trash in it while I was driving, you know, to keep it in one spot. There's the fire extinguisher. Classic truck right here. They still drive this truck too. I see the mechanics sometimes driving it. See the, see the fifth wheel got grease on it. Yeah, they still drive this truck. New, old school, new school. Old school, new school. How y'all like that? Classic K-Dub. Let me go back to my truck. I'm about to Bob Tail home. Somebody left some chains on that trailer. I ain't even going inside the driver's lounge. I ain't got time. Matter of fact, 1131. I might, I might have to go in there. I might got some lunch on the table. Let me show you the inside of my truck. Great minds think alike. See, I got a basket. Got some dirty clothes in it. You see that shirt? It got coffee stains on it. You see two coffee cups. I always throw my coffee cups in there. I don't give a damn if the clothes get coffee stains on them. I don't give a damn. It'll wash out. Yeah. How y'all like that? That's where it all began, right there. Grayson Mitchell. Whew. Let me go inside this driver's line real quick and see what's going on. No lunch. There's the Grayson Mitchell Wall of Fame. Maybe I'll know somebody on that wall. That's where my picture used to be. I took it home. Hey, sometimes on Friday, when I when I get empty, my dispatcher messes me. She'd be like, no loads available. Reload Monday, Dion. Oh man, good thing I happened to walk in there. Why y'all didn't tell me? I left my bar over there.
Yeah, this is a PNS step deck right here. Step deck. Left my bar. When I was tightening up that strap for the uh where my tarps were at. Alright, we're headed to the house. No lunch available. Had to make a pit stop before I got home. Come out here and make sure my door is locked. I've been waiting about 10 minutes. Hey, make sure my door is locked. Got to be careful around these parts of town. What y'all think I got in here? The new, them new chicken wings. Let's see what the hype is all about. Pull up game strong. Got that Taco Bell. Ticket on Taco Bell. Damn, damn bag ain't worth it damn. Y'all see, I pulled up to the house. Since I ain't got my trailer. Pull the, hey, no trailer. I can get up in here. All right, gang, we're gonna wrap this video up. I'm about to go ahead and test the wings out. Look pretty tasty. Got some kind of sauce. Not sure what that is. Let's try one. 